Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of White Trash and In Trouble. I am your host, Scotty Chi. Uh, brand new podcast. I like doing podcasts. Podcasting is fun. And I, I don't know. Okay, I got it from South Park, of course. Everyone fucking knows that uh, I'm white trash and I'm in trouble, but it all came from South Park. Okay, I know we get it. Before you comment on or even say to yourself, man, Scotty, why don't you go ahead and get your own ideas, you son of a bitch? No, fuck off. (laughs) So, what this podcast is all about, it's plain and simple. It's basically going to be me, hopefully a co-host eventually, uh, some guests as well. We're going to find the most insane, what we would consider white trash articles that's out in the ether uh we're gonna talk about it we're gonna riff on it fuck with it make some jokes i i figured hey why not and i personally want to do this just because i want to laugh at people's misfortunes and make my life a little bit better you get what i mean it's always good to laugh at others (laughs) it sounds fucking terrible you guys gonna be like wow scott you're a you're a pile of crap i try not to be sometimes it happens and Another thing, say like if, I don't know, say like if you're watching and you are on the article that I'm reading about, or like your mom or your dad or aunt, uncle, cousin, what the fuck you want me to do, man? This is a free country. The article is online for a reason for us to read, so we're going to read, okay? (laughs) So I'm going to read a couple of articles, just two today, just to see how we rocking and rolling here. So here we go. First article I found, Florida man, okay, hold on, before I forget, most of the articles I'm going to be putting up on this podcast are going to be mostly Florida man, and Florida's my home state, born and raised, Floridian, yeet yeet, ah, (laughs) so, but no no hate to my state, is sort of, I don't know, it just really depends on, you know, on how horrible the, um, I guess you can say the crime the situation is when it comes to how fucked up the ordeal is. I'm going to stop talking now. Florida man busted creeping through backyards with underwear around his neck. Claims it's just exercise. Exercise, eh? Troy Stewart reportedly told police he was exercising and used the underwear to stay warm. This was, this was posted on the 12th. Uh, that was just three days ago. How, how how do you stay warm with just underwear around your neck? And Florida gets pretty damn cold during the winter time. Hold on, I got a little ant on my camera. That's not good right there. Get the hell off of there. I gotta clean up. I'm pretty gross here. Anyway. Florida authorities arrested a man who's, who they say was discovered prowling around a backyard with underwear around his neck. Cape Coral, good old Cape Coral, said uh, police said that officers arrested Troy Dean Stewart, age 35. Mind you, man, this guy, he looks pretty rough for a 35-year-old. I'm only 30. I look like shit, but man, this guy looks terrible. I'll put him up on I'll put him up on the podcast as well for you guys to see. Uh hold on, I gotta sneeze. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna this isn't going to be edited. Enjoy my sneeze! <laughs> Third time's a charm. I should get like a fucking sneeze genie to come and give me fucking like three sneeze wishes or something. Anyway, Cape Coral Police said, Fred, said that Friday on that officers arrested Troy Dean Stewart, age 35, after someone called 911 about a prowler in the 2000 block of Everest Parkway. The caller said they saw someone in their backyard near uh, near their dark uh, near their dock. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, and had noticed the person on surveillance cameras. Wow, can you imagine that? Like, imagine like if you're you, you see someone on your surveillance camera, you think you, you know you could it could be Bigfoot, it could be you know Skunk Ape. You know they're on they're on Cape Coral. You know that's where Skunk Ape is supposedly at, and they're like, oh, I might have caught something. Uh, you know, I might have caught a um, a cryptid. Um, you know, give me some zoologists here. 
But no, they 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 captured a crackhead. I don't think he's a crackhead. I think he's just out of his fucking mind. Crackhead. Police said they discovered Stewart in an empty lot lying on his stomach between a hedge and brush near a seawall. He was wearing an outfit matching the description of the suspected prowler and also a pair of navy underwear around his neck, the police said. I thought they said he was naked. Because they said, they literally just said he was only just wearing underwear around his neck. It's like, is this guy like too stupid to put under underwear around his fucking crotch or something like that? I don't know. Stewart reportedly told police he was exercising and wanted to run along the canal. <laughs> don't we all want to just run, uh, run along the canal and get eaten by fucking alligators and get bit by moccasins? If you, if you live in South Florida, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He said the he said that the underwear around his face was to protect him from the cold. Police said. Okay, before I continue reading, I don't know if this guy was on drugs. I know I kind of just did uh, accuse him of being a uh, an alcoholic or a crackhead or something. But I don't know, man. I mean, was it was it his underwear? They they said it was navy underwear. I mean, if it was, like, a little girl's underwear, that would make sense, the reason why he should be arrested. <clears throat> Police said that Stewart said the steward said he was hiding because of two men confronting him. Uh, I mean, the, why, would, why would two men confront you if you were, you know? I mean, then again, it is South Florida. There's a lot of crazies down there, too. I mean, this guy probably is crazy. A lot of more crazier people than him as well, too. You know, especially guys. You know, sometimes guys just want to pick fights, especially when they see a, suspic a suspicious-looking dude uh, wearing underwear around his neck. I mean, if you wanted to stay warm, why didn't you just wear, like, a sweater or or a track a track shirt or a track suit or something like that? I don't, I don't fucking know. Or yeah, oh, a, a, a hoodie. A neighbor told police that two bonsai trees were stolen from the yards valued at seven thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! Why would you, if your if your trees if your bonsai trees are worth that much, why don't you? Well, why do you leave them outside? I don't I don't get it. I I, I think if you're I think if a bonsai tree, I think you should keep that inside. You know where the sun can shine through the window. You know you you don't want. I mean, look, look what happened to Daniel Larusso when he had, when he had the bonsai tree broken in half in Karate Kid Three. I'm, I'm getting, I'm losing, I'm, I'm getting off topic here, guys. Officers said they discovered the bonsai trees at Stewart's home, but they were not the stolen plants. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, to me, that's pretty suspicious, right there. I mean, come on, like, I mean. Bonsai trees are expensive as hell. Now, I don't think everybody can just have a bonsai tree like that, especially ones wor worth $7,000 fucking dollars. I don't know. Stewart was charged with loitering and prowling. It is unclear when he will appear in court and if he has an attorney. More than likely, Plot doesn't have an attorney. So, to me, it's, it seems like this guy, he could be innocent. He could be, you know, guilty as, as hell. Who, who knows? I mean, to me, I mean, I don't know. I mean... I guess you could say, okay, I'll, I'll have part of a side of him, you know, just being a guy, just trying to exercise, which I should be doing as well, too. <laughs> but, you know, but then again, we don't know the full story. You know, he could just be some fucking weirdo that wants to, uh, you know, be on the prowl, steal kids' underwear, fucking do that one word that begins with the letter R. I don't want to say it because I don't want to get demonetized. Yeah, so I really don't know. I really don't know. But man, I mean, I could have picked a better, um, I could have picked a better article. But personally, I kind of did this last minute. So I, I should have read a little bit more about the articles that I was going to go for. And then that way it would have been a lot better to uh, definitely determine if this guy's guilty or a victim in this situation. Anyway, next article right here, guys. This is a good one. Uh, this was from a few months ago, and I'm pretty sure people have talked about this, and I would love to talk about it more because it seems so fucking interesting. <laughs> 
First ever Florida Man Games will feature beer belly wrestling and evading arrest obstacle course. What do they mean, like evading arrest obstacle course? Like, what are they? Are they gonna just try to not? You know, are they gonna break the law by trying not to get arrested or something? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Oh my god. It ain't the Olympics, but a group of Floridians plan to host competitions theme according to the collective antics of beer-loving, gator-possessing, rap-sheet-heavy, mullet-wearing social media phenomenon known as Florida Man. First off, I don't know anybody with an alligator, and I've lived, I've lived, I've lived in Florida my entire fucking life. I don't know. Uh, people will be like, oh, they're swamp puppies. They're not swamp puppies. Stay the fuck away from alligators, all right? Just just, just do it. I hate when people, <coughs> these fake Florida people online who try to come off as like a tougher, more stupider version of Larry the Cable Guy say, I wrestle alligators, you know, I'm not even trained. No, you don't. Dude. You don't want to wrestle an alligator. Alligators will bite your fucking hand off easily, okay? So quit with the bullshit. I mean, you probably know how to drink. But just, you know, you go ahead, fucking drink as much as you want, man. Just, no, just, we know you don't wrestle alligators. Fuck off. Organizers of the Florida Man Games describe the competition as the most insane athletic showdown on Earth. You know, rednecks are very unpredictable, especially when it comes to how athletic they really are. I've seen many, like, out of shape, drunken fucking uh, redneck morons get into fights with like dudes that were like st- extremely muscular, you know, lifted weights every day, played football, whatever the fuck. They would fight, and then the football player, the muscular guy, would get their ass whooped by the by the redneck. I do believe in the term country strong. <laughs> The games will poke fun at Florida's reputation for producing strange news stories involving guns, drugs, booze, and reptiles, or some combination of the four. They need to have one where they, like, (laughs) they need to do, like, a Ron DeSantis themed one where they are dressed up, dressed in drag, dressed up as women, and they have to go and uh, read, like, gay nursery rhymes to kids. (laughs) And then, and then, and then a bunch of other dudes dressed up as Ron DeSantis will go and try to stop them from doing it, and they have to like fight them off. I think that'd be fucking awesome right there. So whoever hosts this, you better listen to Scotty Chi because he's got some ideas. God damn it! Among among the contests planned for next February, oh, so that's like so it'd be this February now because this was back in October in Saint Augustine. Uh, according to organizers, are the evading arrest o- obstacle course in which contestants jump over fences through yards while being chased by real police officers. That's actually fucking hilarious right there. They, they, they need to do one where they, instead of police officers, police dogs. You don't want to be, you don't want to be chased by a police dog, like a German Shepherd or a pit bull. They'll, they'll, they'll do, I mean, obviously alligator bites are worse, but getting bit by a police dog is, is no fun at all either but i think that's really funny but like so are they gonna like get tased by the police officers or something because if they do that'd be even more hilarious right there or shoot them shoot them with like paintball guns or um like rubber bullets or something who knows man uh the category five crash cash grab in which participants try to grab as much money in a wind-blowing booth creative i i fucking love that like they, they should get like instead of uh like a wind blowing booth well which they, i mean obviously they kind of have to it's just the way the wind can be blowing in one direction get like a bunch of airboats and stuff that's probably i bet you that's probably what they're gonna do but that's funny right there too man and self-explanatory beer belly wrestling this just isn't a competition it's a one-of-a-kind floridian special organizer said on the game's website game's website i gotta take a look at the website right there i'm gonna lock that up for a second right that's fucking awesome right there there we go the florida man concept crept into the to the nation's consciousness a decade ago with at florida man twitter account was it really that long ago the florida man i guess you're right i guess you're right yeah i mean i mean social media's been going on for many years and i would feel like I mean, I bet you anything, they probably have, like, articles from, like, 
the seventies, sixties, eighties, probably of you know just insane uh, old school Florida guys just doing this crazy Florida shit. <laughs> Actually, there's a good, there, there, uh, there's a good story. I don't know if it's Florida related because I know my good friend's dad is not from Florida, but this is pretty Florida right here. Uh, when he was younger, my my good friend's dad he got arrested for mooning a cop. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's like I mean I think anybody can do that, but to me that's it's pretty Florida right there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and I think I had an uncle who uh, I think he threw a fucking like cherry bomb at, at a cop car back in like the seventies or something like that, sixties, I can't remember. I mean I wasn't even alive then. But I know he told me that. In fact I should probably ask him this weekend since I'm seeing him. It's fucking hilarious. Uh what else can I read? General admission tickets to the event are going are going for forty five dollars. Forty five dollars, I'd say, is fair enough. It just depends. Is it like a whole weekend ordeal? Two former stars of the nineteen nineties television show American Gladiators have agreed to serve as referees. That's pretty cool, right there. A St. Augustine resident is behind the games. Pete Melfi, the owner of the nine hundred four Now, a media outlet covering St. John's County. We thought how we can really play on these Florida Man headlines that we hear so much about. Someone gave me the idea to make it into an athletic competition, Melfi told the Orlando Sentinel. It's going to be a wild day of mud games and Florida-style obstacle courses. It's going, to, it's going to really be an opportunity to live that Florida Man life for a day. Fucking dude, I mean, <clears throat> more power to you guys. If you want to go and do Florida shit, go and do Florida shit. Personally, I was never really into this like the stereotypical Florida shit. I never really liked uh, mudding. I never really liked. <clears throat> I, know, I love the fish, but I mean that, that's not like Florida shit. I mean everyone fucking fishes. I mean we, we've been fishing for thousands of years. We just started mudding recently, as like 50, 40 years ago, probably. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think they can do better with the Florida Man, with, with the Florida Man um, uh, games. Like I said, I think they should get chased by police dogs. Um, the whole drag queen trying to fight off Ron DeSantis's, that's that's really funny as well. But then again, they might say, oh, that's that's offensive right there. I'm like, well, no, I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. So I want to read. I want to look at the the website, the Florida Man Games, presented by Flow Grown, the authentic the authentic Florida Outfitters. There we go. Your host. Oh my God, it's Wix. Oh, I've no. Oh, I've recognized this guy before. Yeah, he he makes. Uh, I've seen his TikToks. Um, if I if I can remember, I'll. Put up a picture of him so that way you guys know who I'm talking about. He ma he makes a lot of for uh, Florida related TikToks like hurricanes and other stuff. I'm sure he's done more than that. He kind of looks like my buddy's um, friend. He he runs a uh, nonprofit organization, uh, a charity for uh, for kids with um, uh, trying to raise money for kids to get uh, prosthetics. He looks a lot like him actually. Okay, so here's some of the games. Weaponized Pool Noodle Mud Duel. I think that's boring. I mean, I feel like every I feel like every like little stupid competition always has like noodle fighting and stuff. I don't know. I, I think they should have like bare knuckle boxing. If it's gonna be gonna be just a bunch of like, you know, just hicks battling each other, I think that'd be fucking great. You could register your team, dude. I should like try to see who wants to do this. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, evading the arrest obstacle courses, so it says jumping over fences through backyards and away from actual police officers to earn your freedom. So I assume they probably have to like run, and uh, yeah, obviously try to avoid the, getting arrested as much as possible. God, I really hope they get like tased or something like that. That'd be fucking awesome. And then, um, yeah, and then I would assume you know they cross the finish line. That's when they uh, that's when they win. So and then the category five cash grabs. So can you? Do you win the money if you um, get all get the money blown on you or something like that? I I, I mean I think you better. I'd be pissed if I like grabbed like a couple thousand dollars and then all of a sudden I lose it. Fuck that. 
A Cadillac converter, two bikes, and a handful of copper pipes race against time. Compete head to head in a race that lets you live a day the life of a Florida man headline. So what are they trying to do? Are they trying to like build like a uh, like a car or something? Build uh, build a fucking uh, like are they trying to like build something out of scratch so that way they can uh, you know uh, race or something like that? I really don't know. Florida sumo. Conquer the Florida Man game sumo ring as you try to blast your opponent out out or spill their remaining beer. It's fucking America, baby. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, to me, that's kind of like the uh, the whole the little noodle fighting right there. I I think they can come up with something better for 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 that right there, man. I don't know. Maybe maybe they can like. Why don't they fucking battle like? Why don't they like f like fight each other with like public subs or something? I don't know. I think that'd be fucking awesome right there. Like everything, Flo I mean, dude, Publix is as Florida as you can get. If you guys don't know what Publix is, it's a grocery chain down here. I mean, I think it's yeah, it's prevalent uh, in Florida, but it's also uh, in Texas, not, not Texas, uh, Georgia. South, South Carolina, I think in North Carolina as well. And I think they have one in, I think they have a few in Virginia. And from what I've heard, I think they now have one in Kentucky. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely do like Florida battles. No, not Florida battles, Publix battles. You know, throw like Publix fried chicken at, at, at people. Uh, yeah, fight, fight each other with, um, what you call it? Oh my God, I'm just going to blank. Publix subs. And... I worked for uh, a I worked for a company called Borshead that it's a meat it's a you know it's a meat company they and uh, Borshead's been in partnership with uh, with Publix for many many years and we would uh, and uh, I remember I would you know be in those delis um, you know working back there uh, you know just putting product away and let me tell you this the bread <laughs> they used to make the subs for after like in a couple hours, you know, when it's just sitting now and just waiting to be uh, cut into, it gets harder than a fucking kneecap, man. Harder than a rock. You can literally, it's like a bone club. It, it, it's kind of like, you know, Bam Bam, you know, from, from the Flintstones. It's, it gets that fucking hard. You can smack it over someone's face. It probably breaks someone's nose with it. I might be getting a little overdramatic here, but what I'm saying is it's... It's it's real, baby. <laughs> All right. So the judges, Dan Nitro Clark and Lori Ice Fetrick from American Gladiators. Man, they're looking old. And again, I mean, um, they look better than me. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, American Gladiators. It's a uh, old show. You can, some of you guys probably not remember it. I barely remember it. It was it was around like in the nineties when I was just a little kid. Uh, mullet contests. They got mullet contests. You know, you, you can't can't have a Florida contest. You can't have a Florida day without mullet contests. You know, the mullets that I'm seeing today, they're not mullets, man. Like, it's basically dudes that are growing their hairs out, and then all they do is is kind of just like shave like just this specific area of their hair and then it's a mullet. I mean, I could technically fucking do it and it could be a mullet sort of, even though the back of my hair is not long at all. But personally, I don't know. I, I really don't want to grow my hair out because my hair is already gray as hell and it looks like fucking cobwebs if I grew it out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, mullet contests... I mean that's just not a Florida thing, you know. Every you know every southern fucking state is possible for. Possible? What are you talking about? I meant uh, popular for their um, mullets. Florida man pinup. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, host the Florida man pinup in twenty twenty four for girls up. Showing off the wild and wonderful women of Florida in this fun and entertaining show, judged by some of Florida's most notable women. Good lord. Oh my god. Yeah, that's gonna be really funny right there. That's going to be really funny. I could probably name like five off the top of my head that they're going to have judge probably. <laughs> and let me be frank. 
I bet you the majority of them are going to be OnlyFans women. I'm not saying it's, you know, a layup. I'm saying it's it's kind of a layup. Chicken Coop Bingo. Two chickens will decide whether you win or lose in this fun, dirty game inspired by our Floridian family in places like the land or Interlochen, where they literally do this for fun because they don't they don't know the cell phones exist yet. Deland knows. I mean, Deland's not that fucking trashy. Interlocking is. I've been to Interlocking. Yeah, that's. They probably might not know the cell phones exist, but Deland, come on. They, they, they have a. That's where Stetson University is. That's the fucking. That's a law school. It's very pristine. Fuck off, fucker. <laughs> no. I, I was going to say they could have cockfights, but that's illegal. <laughs> but. You know, they got to do something more, like, inspired by Ebor City. Ebor City is so popular for their chickens and crazy nightlife. I got my car keyed over there. Fuck you, Ebor City. <laughs> oh, wow. So, 911 Fight Night, Brawl of the Badges. Watch officers take on firefighters in the Brawl of the Badges main event as the Florida Man Games comes to a close. That is fucking hilarious right there. I would love to see that cops and firefighters going at it that's a tough one i might have to give it to the firefighters because you know they have more time on their fucking hands it rains a lot here man so 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 firefighters don't have to worry about too many fires it feels like california firefighters versus like even California cops as well, too. Or even Florida cops as well. Yeah, they're pretty badass. I don't know. I would love to see that. Um, I would love to see that right there. That's a good idea. Brawl the badges. I would love, oh man. I, I'm really tempted to go. <laughs> That's awesome right there. Oh, man. St. Augustine. Where is St. Augustine going to be at? Let's find out. Uh, Francis Field in St. Augustine, Florida. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I was uh, I was a little concerned. I'm just like you know, said obviously it's a it's a big city, but it's not like you know as big as Tampa or anything. Well, that was fun. White trash and in trouble. I, I I this is a great idea. I'm I'm glad I did this. But what do you what do you guys think of this little podcast that I'm 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 trying to figure out right here? Hopefully, I'll get myself a host. Uh, hopefully, I'll get myself. Um, you know, more guests to come on. That way they can they can bring some articles that we can make fun of and everything. Uh, but no, this is fun. I like talking about this. Because usually I'm not the kind of person that just sits down and uh, talks to myself. Or, well, I mean, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to a camera and a microphone, you know, to you guys. So really, yeah, I mean, I guess you say it's it's cool. <laughs> um, but yes, um, guys, I'm, I'm so glad you uh, took the time to uh, watch this and make fun of people with me. It's great. Uh I want to try to continue doing this maybe every week or something like that. And let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, of course. Uh, I do thank you for tuning in. I do thank you for subscribing. I do thank you for being a fan. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace!